What's going on everyone? Welcome back in the world of Zell Dangerous here. It's an exciting morning. The guy holding the camera, Charles Scarborough. You guys may have seen him in and around Rob Turkla's videos. He's a cameraman for Lunkers TV. Awesome, awesome dude. Kind of a young, light kid that... that light is right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, literally light. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, is he's kind of a ninja with the camera and having him in my bass boat, it's like not even having him there. So you guys get to hang along with me over the next four Four weeks I've got three elite series tournaments and we're rolling really light uh, without the RV trait uh, is staying home she's got a couple of uh, doctor's appointments I got up at 4 a.m. picked up Charles and we are heading to South Carolina for back-to-back -back tournaments we got a tournament out there on Lake Murray and then the very next week we got a tournament on Santee Cooper so these next couple weeks are gonna be filled with a lot of big fish but before we make this 15 hour drive all the way across the country one of these uh, bait makers you all know like I'm a I'm an absolute glide bait freak a swim bait freak and I give props and respect to a lot of the bait makers all across the country I had one of the dudes reach out to me and he makes these really sick glide baits and you guys have seen me throwing the tater hogs before uh, the Bass Pro Shops XPS swerve before on top of the dangerous swim bait but I'm a swim bait freak and there just happens to be this crazy gathering of swim bait makers they have like this giant meetup where they all bring respected glide baits and lures and they have, they trade them and they buy them, they sell them. And I'm getting a little, the inside kind of exclusive look at some of these uh, glide baits before the actual show starts. On our way out, we're gonna stop at Lake Fork here and see if we can get our hands on a couple of really sick glide baits. So I am a sucker for custom glide baits. Hopefully he set aside a few for me because I know I'm gonna be using them over the next few weeks in South Carolina, in Alabama. And then when we return back in Texas. I'm all about that post-spawn gizzard shad bite. I'm literally addicted to it. So we got to make a little stop here at Lake Fork. You guys buckle up because it's going to be a good uh, good stretch over the next couple weeks here. Charles is really good about uh, uploading all this content as it rolls out. So it's going to be very, very current for you guys. Make sure you put on your seatbelt, hop in that back seat here. It's going to be a good little ride over the next few days. So let's go check out these swim baits. Oh, Lake Fork Marina. There's a lot of tournaments out of this place. Although I haven't been here in a while because OHIV has been uh, grabbing my attention for good reason. The last time we went there, we caught a 13, hooked a giant one. Yeah, you guys have already seen that video. All right, so I'm starting to see a lot of cars here. This event doesn't start for another four or five hours. Is that Johnny? Dude, that looks just like Johnny. All right, really let's go don't. check this out. How you doing, man? How's it going, That's man? Charles. Charles, nice to meet you, man. Okay, so tell me what this is. This is a swim bait meetup? Right, it's a swim bait universe gathering event. Gather, we put yeah. this on um, four years in a row now. The really? kind of just started just to kind of get swim bait guys together. Kind of started out in Virginia. Mm -hmm. This year we decided to move it out to Texas, kind of make it like a middle grounds for That's everybody like trying to get the yeah, West yeah. Coast East Coast yeah. together. So far it seems like it's working out really good. We got a huge crowd out here. Hell it's, yeah. It's been a blast so far. Very cool, dude. Yeah. So you drove from Virginia. There's other bait makers from like all over all, all over, over the, the Southeast. Yeah. You know, the Tater Hog. I've oh, been yeah. throwing that one a lot. That guy's mm -hmm. like super highly yeah, respected, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Matt McBee. But I don't like to discriminate if if a guy crafts a swim bait like with his own hands paints it himself like i just respect that hustle dude that's amazing like appreciate it cool show me what you got absolutely dude. come on let's check my normal camera guy is johnny ziola dude you look just like oh, you I look just this up. like johnny i'm gonna have to take a selfie with him dude <laughs> Oh wow, dude. Oh my god. We've been grinding. Oh yeah. my lord. Holy cow, dude. These look freaking amazing. I got three baits that I tuned myself for you. Oh, I appreciate it, bro. 80s baby. The busy bone and my new gill that does 360s. Man, this thing's gonna be a killer bed. Really? Thing. Okay. Oh my dude. gosh, bro. That is so freaking nails. Oh my goodness. This is the 80s baby. Now let me tell you, this the, this particular color yep. and this bait has caught more double digit bass all over the country than any other color that I make. Wow. Period. This color. It's like morning dawn. Bone. Like I mean come on, like a morning dawn worm has caught more fish than any other Between color. This one and that one. Yep. These are the top 
producers. That's period. like a bone. That's like a right. modern so bone my color. Busy bone color. It's got a little gold streak inside. It's so sick. I think you'll really like this. And how do you know they're like tuned? You know they're tuned oh, by the, one the line, one. the knot Absolutely. is still on the bait. Like that is so cool, dude. Yeah, I swim test every single bait by myself to make sure they're perfect. I hand tune them and make sure they're right. Tater hog makes an awesome, awesome bait, but they're all different and unique in their own way. Like Matt McBee at Tater Hog, he doesn't put fins on them. So adding fins just one step closer to the realistic thing, you know, like the anatomically correct gizzard shad. And sometimes when like a 11, 12 pounder follows, like sometimes it's that little like difference maker that that uh, convinces like a 12 pounder to get that bait. And I truly feel like when a fish grabs onto this bait, he's not just feeling hard plastic. He's got some softness in there. Yeah, some realness. Kind of, makes yeah. him kind of hold just that second long. Yeah. To give you that hook set time, so. Dude, you look a lot like my, one of my, my good buddies, Johnny. Can I take a selfie with you real yeah, quick? Man. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to him. This is awesome, dude. This is going to Johnny. There it is. <laughs> awesome. Everybody's got a twin somewhere. That's yeah, right. exactly. I don't care any cash, but I'll send you, I'll buy like one of these, just more of the traditional style. Like whichever one you think swims the best. I know you're about to get a whole lot of business right here, but just any of the traditional style shad baits, like like that one or that one, go ahead and handle that. Yeah, well, um, you're already knocking on the sorry, door. I got banged a little bit of door. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the support. No, I've been man. trying to get you pros on these swim baits for a long time. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of guys don't know. I grew up doing this. Um, I started when I was 12 years old in Arizona. I was born in Arizona. In Arizona? Right. So, I mean, this is the very beginning era of swim baits. Yes, dude. And, Same uh, here, bro. I'm originally from Cali. Throwing glide baits has become cool. Like, it has become, like, cool again. Yes, and, like, yes. and, like, so we saw the swim bait craze back in the late 90s right. and then, like, early 2000s. And then the whole like Bastrix paddle tail thing sparked another like swim bait craze. But, like right now we're in another swim bait craze. Oh, and like absolutely. videos like this, like how to videos. By the way, on Instagram, it's uh, Phony Frogs USA, right? On Instagram. Yes, sir. And if someone wanted sure. to buy one of these sick looking shads or one of these top right. waters or the gill, do they contact you through uh, Instagram? Um, yeah, we've got two contact phone numbers they nice. can call. It's just a part of bass fishing or like in any industry. It's just like that, that, that beautiful hand tuned craftsman ship you can't get anywhere else right. so like just this opportunity to have like an exclusive behind the scenes oh, look yeah. at what happens with a bait maker and hopefully by the end of this gathering like all these boxes will be out of here and sold and they will i'm sure you're oh, confident yeah. they are yeah, yeah everything will go like i said we've got a huge crowd this year i think it's going to be a great show that's cool dude yeah. look over here real quick all she turns fans, out all the fins that is just beautiful man that is so freaking cool you can't see that anywhere else let's go mingle with a couple people i Absolutely. really appreciate Appreciate it, dude. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's awesome, meeting you. Yeah. Got the high these. Okay. Cool. Right on. All right, boys. Thank you so much. That dude is straight Virginia, like mountain hardworking dude, and his product it speaks for itself. Like I am so pumped on that. Like I'm gonna stare at this thing. That is impressive, dude. Like it takes so much to cut that gill plate and put some color up under that gill the fins i mean that is just straight nasty all right so let's do one hot lap and let's just see what these swim bait uh, fanatics are all about and where they're lined up at this is kind of a surprise visit for me so this is kind of neat you can always spot a swim bait fisherman got the high socks got the flat build hat a lot of them are tatted up we'll have sleeves Lunkers TV, he could be a freaking swim bait fisherman. Just throw some socks on him in the color black. There you go, Lunkers TV, the swim bait extraordinaire. Yeah. Grant. Grant, he knows nice uh, He knows John B. I've seen you. In yeah, you're yeah, the swim bait probably, kid. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Nice, that's dude. me. Dude. Hell yeah, dude. How's it been lately? You been cracking any big ones lately? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a picture I've been showing Look at this guy, dude. That was uh, 11 and a half right there. 11 and a half with the short shorts. Oh yeah. You know it. Yeah. Dude, on the on that little Berkeley. What? Man, that little Get out of here, square. dude. Are you yeah. serious? The gilly or whatever. Wow. I picked it up from a caddy. I was like, this looks. She good. on a bed? She was yeah. like, she was Kinda. like staged Kinda, up. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, it was a Could pleasure meeting you. Yeah, yeah, let's do some fishing. Sometime, Heck yeah, man. yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Hey Chris, you how you doing? Hey, what do you have in here? Oh. An AR? <laughs> oh no, you'll be happy with it though. Leviathan rods, travel rods. <laughs> it's like a sniper rifle. Yeah. That's what he said to the other guy with the case too. He's like, is that AR? I love it. Wow, dude. That's a three-piece travel rod. Yeah, look at the freaking, look at the real seat on that bad boy. Sheesh. If you ever seen the way I fish with my wife and my dogs, dude, we 
break that in like a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. so I watch awesome, the way you dude. fish all the time. Yeah, right on, dude. I love the name, love everything, dude. That's very cool. Appreciate it, Chris. Very cool. Let's take a quick tour right here, Charles. Again, I had no clue that this thing existed. And seeing Wayne at Swimbait Universe, I mean, that's, uh, they like put all this together. And this is all like Swimbait, look, you can tell the Swimbaiters, look, at the tats, the flat bills, and then the high socks. We haven't seen the high socks yet. Nope. The high socks, I'm telling you, dude. Yes, How you sir. doing, man? Chris? Jeff. How you doing, bro? Yeah. So cow, is it that so obvious? Cow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just said on the way in. I go, dude, flat bill, high socks, and, and sleeves, and tats. <laughs> That, that is the perfect example of a swim baiter right there. Dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> Safe travels, bro. Thank you, thank you. That's really cool, man. I'm guessing this is the front of the line right here. That's like pretty amazing, dude. Yeah, hey, 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 oh, 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 it. How long you guys been hanging out here? 9.30 yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. PM or AM? AM. We're at sleeved out tattoos, we're at flat bills, and we could add woodland camos, also an indicator that you can throw swim bait. <laughs> How you guys doing? Where are you from, dude? Fort Worth. Uh, Fort Worth? Yes, nice. Sir. The vibe is cool over here. This guy, this guy had a long night. <laughs> hey, Where are you from? Mass. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes, sir. Yes, dude. A little ways away. Hell yeah. Came down to do some fishing. Pleasure meeting you, man. Good luck, brother. Thank yeah, absolutely. you. I appreciate it. Josh, nice to meet Josh, you. Josh, do you have long socks on? No, I got short ones short, on. Okay, okay. So you got the vans, you got the tats. Yeah, you don't have a hat because you got a good head of hair. You got swim baiters, swim baiters. Yeah, freaking awesome, dude. Where's your flat bill, dude? Oh, there it is, right there. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it, boy. Thank you. Where are you from? Texas? I'm from Indiana. Indiana, yeah, bro. Yeah. Really? Dro drove down uh, yesterday. Yeah. This is so freaking yeah. amazing. I had no clue this was going on, but I will be here next year for sure, awesome. dude. Like for sure. Got a 13-hour drive to South Carolina today. Well, we watch you. Want to make our rounds. Yeah, we watch you all the time, dude. Right Good on. to meet you. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. So, uh, what are we in line for? What are you guys? Uh, what, what are we looking at? What do you think? I mean, these guys got me hooked up with a couple baits yesterday. Look that all I... this cash he's got on him, dude. He's getting ready to spend the cash, dude. <laughs> Don't show the yeah. wife that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hearing a lot of like piz stuff, like all, and again, this is all custom stuff, so you can't get this anywhere else. So right, um, these boys are in line for, for yeah. a good reason. There's baits on that table over there that yeah. are gonna sell for three hundred. They'll sell tomorrow for like Five. two thousand dollars. Yeah, on a raffle. Serious. This is just this is just blowing my mind because like I, I I do the whole tournament thing so like my attention's all on that but oh, like we know, bro. as far as like big fish hunting that's how I started fishing and now I'm trying to integrate in the tournament side and everything so when like people gather like this to buy swim baits like that's so cool dude right on thanks yeah, brother it was luck, nice guys. to yeah, meet you man safe travels back yeah very cool. <laughs> I have the booth. I talk about the Huddlestons all the time. This is like, they set the standard for swim bait fishing. Uh, this is the most innovative tail design in swim bait fishing, period. Talked a lot about the glide bait stuff, but like the soft baits, I mean, there's only one Huddleston, Ken Huddleston. There's only one, and then this bait right here is probably uh, responsible for more fish over 12 pounds than anything, especially out west. I think it's a nice trout po profile, but this is an awesome, uh, awesome bait, nice and subtle. And then I did this at the last minute, the tilapia pattern. I did that gray tilapia pattern. <laughs> that is a bad fishing morsel right there, dude. So cool. I love that vibe. Wait, wait, you got like a like a tweaked out skunk eating a banana? Like who comes up with that? Chocolate swim bait. That is awesome, man. Cool. I'll go sign this down right here. Cool, brother. Have a good show, man. I got a 13-hour drive to uh, South Carolina. Woo! Yeah, and just like that, two hours have passed, so we got to hit the road, Charles. That was really cool. Let's get out of here. Slow things down a little bit and get on that 13-hour drive and actually start thinking about fishing, not talking about fishing, but let's start thinking about fishing. Uh, decent mileage here about 12.1 miles per gallon we're rolling really light these next couple days out to south carolina so normally i'm running this giant rv 46 foot battle born rv and got the dogs got the wife and every single fuel stop is like seems like it takes 20 to 30 minutes you know letting letting the dogs go potty and getting water the only thing i got to worry about that today is letting charles go potty and let him get water get and get to going. eat and the coffee and all that so traveling wise it's a lot easier but i know by the end of the week, I'm going to be missing those little puppers. We just 
pulled into a gas station right now and, and it looks like there's a opens angler. We just passed by him and he says, roll down your window. He goes, I'm listening to the Bilge podcast right now. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. How'd you do it, Toledo Ben? Not very good. Tough, dude. Appreciate you listening. Thanks, dude. That's really cool. Look, this is like the angler's hub right now. There's another one. There's another angler all the way. Where are we at? Are we in Mississippi? I don't even know what state we're in right now, but there's <laughs> yeah. another angler. This is awesome. All right, we mowed down like 12 hours today. You know, a couple hours before the swim bait session, and then, you know, hanging out with those guys, time just kind of flew by. I decided not to drive the whole 15 hours to South Carolina, so we decided to stay the night at one of the motels here, just outside of uh, Atlanta. There's positives and negatives about towing a big fifth wheel trailer. You know, one of the positives is you have everything right there. You can pull over wherever you want as you're traveling across the country fishing these tournaments and just sleep overnight with the wife with the dogs do the whole family thing you know where your toothbrush is you know where your shaver is all this stuff one of the downsides not having all that stuff is you're you're stuck checking into motels and staying in motels but you don't have to clean up after yourself so charles is holding the camera here you don't have to clean up after yourself in the morning so i'm gonna lay my little head down on the pillow and that's what i'm gonna think about rigging up for lake murray i'm gonna call it a night That was a decent night's sleep. Just thought of one huge disadvantage. We talked about the advantages and disadvantages of rolling a giant RV, like the biggest one, is not having my coffee maker with me in the RV. Like, that is terrible coffee right there. <laughs> but what are you gonna do, man? I gotta wake up. We gotta drive a few more hours to uh, Lake Murray, South Carolina. Once we get there, we got a little bit of tackle to do, a little bit of grocery shopping, and then we'll be on our way into practice tomorrow morning. Yep, it's definitely raining. The cover stays on. Like, what even is this, man? Good thing I got my swim bait all access card. This will get us anywhere. Go to the ATL clubs, we flash this card right here. On a serious note though, like so honestly, like those guys, when we're hanging out with those swim bait guys, I'm gonna have the Bass Mafia guys seriously look into that show next year. Maybe we'll get set up and show off some of the dangerous swim baits from Bass Mafia, and especially if we got that top hook line through done by then, and we should. We absolutely should, we're working really hard on that, uh, on that swim bait. Of course, the unloaded is already out, but that loaded version, that top hook line through with a little magnet that holds it, that is gonna be primo. And maybe I'll get a tatted up sleeve i don't know might have to do that if we show up next year you'll see if trade's cool with it yeah <laughs> yeah let's text her right now <laughs> all right augusta georgia the cabela's bass pro outpost store kind of smaller than the normal stores but uh equally as effective as far as you know fishing lure stock goes there they are right there so with the blueback herring on my mind five inch darts can't go wrong with any type of white color this is white pearl shad it's got a little opaque white and then a translucent white that right there is a blueback herring and the whole key like i said is fishing it fast fast and high fast and high then kill it then fast and high and just make them chase it so with this dart i've got a bunch of guggen gold hooks with a like nice little corkscrew a little bit of weight on it but one huge component to like this whole fluke dart system is adding a swivel to it and i don't have any right now but I'm gonna see if they have them here. You need a quality ball bearing swivel, not a barrel swivel, but like a ball bearing swivel. So every time you're jerking this thing real quick on the surface, when it twists and it rolls, your line is not twisting and rolling. So I always like placing a ball bearing swivel about 12 to 14 inches in front of these darts. And that just allows you to fish it real quick, real fast and get those fish to react. You're trying to convince these big largemouth, post bond largemouth that, hey, that's a real blue back herring up along the surface and you gotta fish it really really fast so i'm gonna pick up a couple of these and then now i'm gonna look for some ball bearing swivels not barrel swivels ball bearing swivels got it all right so like one of the more popular swim bait styles on the blueback herring lakes are these multi-jointed smaller swim baits for $7.99 like this whole XPS brand you think like oh you know that's not going to catch anything they're designed to catch fishermen you will be surprised some of the sleeper designs that the XPS brand has got especially in the like these unique uh kind of categories of swim baits so that multi-jointed kind of herring 
burn a swim bait, burn a swim bait along the surface. Like I'm gonna buy that just to see. You, I've never even heard of this swim bait, tell you the truth, but I might be thoroughly surprised with the action of it. And uh, when they get keyed in on that blueback herring size, shape, and speed, you know, little sleeper lures like this could be mean the difference between a top 10 and a bottom 10. Stay safe, man. Absolutely. All right, we added to our arsenal a little bit there. Again, I was just driving along and thinking about kind of what the holes are in my, my arsenal of blueback herring imitating lures. And there's one thing that, you know, I've learned over the years fishing professionally. It's like if, you know, one particular bite is going on on that lake, fluke style bait, for example, is going off, it's cracking and it's going hot and heavy. You better have that stuff rigged up. Don't be lazy. Actually rig it up before game day starts. So that's what I'm trying to avoid is not being behind the eight ball. And again, they just had a, a a Bass Pro Tour tournament out there two weeks ago and I learned a lot just by watching the highlights of that thing and so I hope that uh, later on today when I start r actually rigging up all my rods and reels for that event again I don't want to have any holes in that lineup and I, I kind of know the gear that needs to be uh, set up and this right here just helps it uh, be that much better. I'm kind of excited about that little swim bait, that little jointed swim bait, because not a lot of guys will be throwing that. I know that for a fact. So let's go check into our uh, our rental house, which is on the lake, Lake Murray. We're not too far from it now. Fifteen hours of driving later, we made it to Lake Murray, South Carolina. This is such a cool vibe. This week we're staying with a friend of a friend, my my buddy Gettis Brandon. He used to work for Bass. He lives here in Columbia, South Carolina. You know, with Trait staying behind uh, with their doctor's appointments, the RV staying behind, we were able to get hooked up with with my buddy Chris here. Well, my new buddy Chris, and he's got a beautiful home. I love these brick homes down here in, in South Carolina on Lake Murray. There it is, right there, Lake Murray in the backyard. So. I know I won't have to go very far to launch my boat and also it's really nice staying on the lake Looks like Chris is coming out to meet us now. Actually, why don't you come along with us Charles? Come on along with us. Say hi to Mr. Chris here. Charles shake the man's head <laughs> <laughs> He's from Texas as well, but yeah everyone Chris again friends with Gettys Brandon also Is it Scott Martin stayed here before your friends with my Scott? other house? Yep, the other place. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very cool. Excellent. He's got a Reagan Bush hat on That's so awesome <laughs> 84 1984 is the year I was born <laughs> Oh man, but no, I really appreciate you stepping up and getting us out of a bind and, and like I said My wife had to stay behind and um, but you got a beautiful spot here, man. This Thank is you. absolutely beautiful all right i just backed the boat in here we got the really really the tour of the property here our host this week and Cannon, and his son are awesome and they're dog people how about that they got four beagles and a black lab that's <laughs> so awesome so we are definitely in for a very entertaining and fish filled week from what i understand this place is loaded full of fish again so i'm gonna kick you guys out of my area here for the next hour or so i'm gonna be rigging up probably five six different swim baits and you know that that guggen dart as well as like three or four different top waters and my whole goal into practice is just cover as much water as possible I look for those active feeding post spawn largemouth that are feeding on those those really quick moving spawning heron and spawning shad so hope you guys enjoyed that little video thank you for hanging out the last couple of days here learned a lot about swim baits learned about a lot about the guy holding the camera there charles he's gonna have a he's gonna have a blast with us as well so again thank you guys for hanging out with us and be on the lookout for the next video. I'm gonna take you guys through the practice sequence. I'm gonna take you through the tournament sequence. So that'll be more of the tournament week. But uh, as far as travel goes and hanging out with those swim bait dudes, thank you guys for coming along. We'll see you next time.